All right, so welcome back to episode number seven of Survival Challenge here on Western Wilds. Um, I was uh, taking a look at this, and uh, you see, corn at the farmers market is nine forty nine. And if we go and we look at, we go here and uh, we show the fluctuations. Best price is five sixty four. So I'm thinking uh, we better sell it. Let's see. Are we uh, yeah, we're already hooked up. Um, I do believe uh, we got to go. I believe Farmers Market is up here. Yeah, it's right there. So let's go ahead and get this corn up there. I'm gonna put the cover on just so. It Looks better, so you don't have to watch the corn in there the whole trip. Okay, so that it's up there. Okay, I figured it was that one. We didn't run. Oh, I was gonna say, all of a sudden it act like the like I was running out of fuel or something. I thought there for a second. <laughs> but like I said, if we have to, we'll leave this up here. But I think we'll make okay on the corn. I mean, it's already starting to look good already. I mean, we're already at 8,000. We're not, eh, not quite. I mean, I guess 2,000 is pretty good. I mean, that was a pretty small field. So let's see what we can do here because, uh, let's see, there it is. Let's just make sure nothing for sale that we can afford that it actually, are. holy cow, that's a big trailer. Wow. Um, I'd like to have something like that down the road. Uh, okay, so I know there's some in the power hours, but I think they're all over. Yeah, I don't see anything yet that's 50 horsepower. I found something that was 60, and I can't remember exactly what it was. That was like three or four days ago when I was playing this. So wasn't even on this map. Um... Uh, some of the mulchers have it too, but let's see, the cultivators. Uh, what it'll be is it'll be one of these that have uh, a field crater in the name. So if that's 140. That don't have that has field crater in there. That's that's only 15 grand, but it's 140 horsepower. You know, either way, we're still kind of uh, SOL on that one. You know, everything's pretty much out of our price range we're gonna have we're probably just gonna have to deal with that little uh just don't have a field crater on it though that has the horsepower and it's three meters it's bigger than what we have but it is not a field crater so uh i don't see that anywhere it's this field crater mod down there at the bottom and even if we did have it it doesn't look like we have enough money anyway so let's see, let's take, we're gonna take a quick look at other stuff here. Um, I don't think there was any in the subsoilers. I mean, that's definitely the correct horsepower, but that's not our, you know, we're looking for this field crater mod. How bad is this? 120, 150, yeah, 130. So a lot of this stuff is just way out of our horsepower range. Um, I don't think the spader, yeah, spaders are all expensive and none of them do that. Um, the other thing I had looked at, I don't remember if it was a mulcher, but one of these, um, I know how to find it. Uh, let's see, this is, that's the Gurgo, the Gurgo, um, anyway, if you go down, uh, to here to thing, that thing, and, uh, there's wood. It's this one right here, but it's 24 grand. Obviously, we can't afford it, and that's way out of our horsepower range as well. But this thing does do fields. But I guess we're going to have to just do uh, fields with the small one. And I'm, I'm actually thinking we're going to sell this thing here because... Uh, I don't think we actually need it because it doesn't work with this system anyway, so... I'm just gonna go and th toss this on the for sale thing and sell it quick. I know it's kind of silly doing it this way. I hooked it up to the tractor and did it the correct way, but uh, whatever, you know. 
Let's just go ahead and sell it. And that, that of course, gets us a bunch of that money back, so... I know what I'm gonna go and... Oops. I'm just gonna look real quick one more time on the... Hit the right button. I think it was... Wait, there wasn't one in the disc tower that, that had that... Uh, that mod or something. Uh, no, that's way too much. Okay, I, I wish... Uh, I thought there was one out at the end that was really useful. Maybe that was, maybe it was something I could I could have used on the other. So, there was no cultivators that were really useful. I just want to make sure. That's out of our, our horsepower range. Way out of the horsepower range. Uh, yeah, see, this is our problem. Our horsepower is just so low. That we can't do anything with it. Um, so let's just see if we can get back down. I mean, like I said, if we could do it with this, it'd be fine. But uh, I'm ninety percent sure that this thing does not uh, uh, plow the field. I mean, it would work fine as a, soil, as a subsoil, or you know, uh, you know, to tear up the ground. You know, afterwards, after a field, um, there wasn't one. In this is the next biggest one. Yes, yeah, so that's 85 horsepower. That's outside, way outside our range. I thought there was one at the end here that was. Wait, wait, I might have been. I might have been in here. That's not it. That's not even. The, that's only 30 horsepower, but I don't think that's that's only two two rows. And you can, I think what it is, you can go in here and you can add. You can. Uh, that and I thought, there were, I thought you could set that up for uh oh well we're not going to use it anyway there was one of these here that would actually work that had the horse horse power that worked like this one here this would actually work um that's a lot better than that little itty bitty thing we have um what about this one that's 75 95 this is just outside of our horsepower range I knew there was something that I found that I wanted to use. So let's go ahead. I think we'll just pick this one up. I think we're going to change the color though, to blue, so it's a little better. And this will get us three, you know, four rows. It's just the only reason I'm changing color is because then I can find it easier on the farm. Let's go ahead and buy that. I, I know I've been kind of iffy on this. I've been trying to find something decent. And I'm thinking that's probably our best bet if the tractor will even hook up to it. I've been trying to uh, test stuff. I have a copy of this map now, and I've been trying to test stuff. But let's see if we can. Uh, we still got money left. Um, where is our uh, planters? Um, cedar. See, that's the that one's thirty-five. That's with one way out at the end. No, it's not. Okay. So before we can even do anything. With anything, we're gonna have to find a cedar that's gonna work. I'm gonna look before we worry about it. I'll look around on uh, on mod hub. See, this one has to work with this, so you know that's you know what almost ninety thousand dollars there. So, so let's go ahead and get back down there. I'm gonna I've got her lined up here. We'll uh, we'll worry about squaring off the field and stuff uh, at the end. Uh, it should be able to handle this, and I do have it already set for making fields. I guess this thing's only 55 horsepower, so there's no reason we shouldn't be able to pull it. But, uh, hopefully. I see it's, uh, making our job a little bit harder to do. Um, but I'm hoping I don't have to go back to the little one and then wait until we get a bigger, uh, tractor. I mean, it's not that we couldn't get a bigger tractor quick. Um,. Gosh, I'm thinking about this just because it's really pulling hard. Let's just quick take a look at that tractor that we were uh, thinking about grabbing before. Um, more tractors, I think it was. It's right here on the end. Uh, yeah. So we need another 4,000. So let's just quick uh, do this. I'm going to quick uh, 
I know there's a couple trees out here in the woods. I'm just gonna trim them up real quick and we're gonna run them down. I don't have we don't have the trailer down here, so I'm gonna have to do it the you know the other way. So ahead and we're going to grab that tractor and then we'll just tab up to the tractor oh, yeah. and I like Maharanda so you know they're good company um I don't know if we should grab any of the other stuff because that ex that's kind of expensive so uh I'm not going to change that I'm not going to do that uh what, what is the deal with the attacker Oh, um, we might want that one. And we want the front deck. Now, this one does not have a front deck unit on, so that's going to kind of uh, mess with us a little bit. Um, change in there our regular plate. Oops. I wish it just keep it, you know, so that I don't have to change it all the time. Now, I thought it would give us the, um, so this one does not have the ability to have, okay, why did you not do that? Okay, um, oh, because we don't have the front. Does this one not have a license plate spot on it at all? Um, okay, it must not have a thing for the license plate, so that's why we don't get the license plate, but, um, and we don't get the, you know, the satellite thing on the roof either, so, uh, I don't know. Was there, how much, it's 110 horsepower. Let's just use this for now, if we, if it doesn't help us, it doesn't help us, you know, we'll sell it later, and, uh, but it's definitely going to help us large power-wise. Go ahead and take this down and drop it in the down here. We'll you we'll still use this tractor because there's plenty of jobs that it can be used for. But I'm gonna hook up to this little itty bitty plow and uh, we'll take that up at I'll take it up at a later date. We'll just uh, I'll I'll have the tractor already up there waiting with it or something and then we'll start from there or something. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe this map doesn't allow you to have the, the sensors on the tractor. I don't know. I'm going to have to... Uh, I have a copy of this map, and I might have to try buying, you know, one of the larger tractors that's not a mod. You know, one of the in-game ones, and uh, see what happens. But, uh, yeah, this will definitely help us. Let's go ahead and grab the trailer. We're going to bring that down. I wonder if I should quick change it out to uh let's change it up to a, to a flatbed for right now because we're definitely going to need a flatbed and then we'll throw the that on there as well I, I know we spent you know a lot of time screwing around and uh you know i guess that happens sometimes um but customize it should not cost us anything change it to a bale trailer nope okay Uh, it probably disconnected us from the trailer as usual. Yep. I like how the tractor's all falling stuff in the air like that. I don't know if that's this map or what, but I, I'm definitely going to do a test on that and see if, uh, you know, the easiest way to find out would be um, just go like this and we'll just grab medium tractor, not even care. I know there, let's see, 
Which one do I have that, that I can throw? I have this one in the, in the game, so. I sorry, a compact. Yep, okay, so we can put them on. It's just certain tractors don't have the thing. I may see if I can contact the person that makes this tractor and see if they can uh, add that into the thing, or I may look to see how we can add it in there. Because I do actually know how to edit these things. I don't ever edit them, but uh, I do know how. Oh, right. So here we are back on the farm uh, with the track with the Maharanda. So we're going to get this all hooked up, and this thing should not have a problem with uh, with creating fields. So. I mean, this thing's only a 50 horsepower unit. We could have actually swapped it out for a different one and done even better, but, uh, you know, at least now I won't feel so bad about uh, about doing it, you know, changing it to a, uh, a high speed or whatever. It's, uh, we wasted a lot of time doing stuff. I would like to, if we can afford it, I want to get the stones off the field because they did cost us a lot of money last time. Uh, I think we got a few of them, a few trees here that we're going to have to move. And then uh, now that the, um, the wagon's right up there, um, we'll get all these cut up at a later date. I want to let me uh, throw that back there. Okay, what is the pro? It keeps. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it must be caught under the plow or something. There we are, something. I don't know. Let's see if we can just get this darn thing out of here and get rid of it for the moment. I see. It was a much bigger tree than I thought it was. That's what it was. But we're still not getting a perfectly straight line down the thing, but we'll do what we can. Now, if I do this, we should be able to push these right back against the edge of the hill until at least till they hit the, an outcropping or something. Now I wish I would have took these, but I don't think we're going to get everything done today. Not everything I set out to do. I mean, I had a big plan for this. I wanted to start, you know, cutting trees today, and I don't think that's going to happen. Now we're right on the edge of the field, so now who knows what's going to happen. We might end up not plowing everything. Nice. I wish we had a decent cultivator. But as you can see, even this thing with only being 50 horsepower, you know, the plow, um, we're still struggling just a hair. But we're going to definitely get a much bigger field out of this deal. So uh, I think it was uh, worth selling the Isaria that we should have never bought. Or not the Isaria, the, um, the actual sensor that we should have never bought in the first place. And uh, all that fun stuff, you know. I'm going to get rid of that quick. Oh, so. Yeah, I got in a little bit of a hurry, you know, I watched another YouTuber using it and he was making a lot of money with it and I thought, well, you know, maybe this will be a way to speed up the money thing, you know, and, and I have, I've been using it on other maps, uh, I've got, I play on Calm Lands once in a while and uh, I'm doing really well on there with that because it really made me a lot of money.
when we turn around and come back for this one, that's when we're gonna kind of do the, the, rest, the rest of the thing. It's gonna be, for right now, is, you know, now that we got a decent tractor, we can start thinking about buying some other equipment um, to do that, we're going to have to, uh, to do wood. I know everybody's like, oh, yeah, I know. Anyway, um, <laughs> we're going to do the best we can. We're probably, I'm probably going to, uh, between uh, episodes, I'm going to take the yellow tractor up and sell off the small plow. Um, probably going to try and get, or, oh, shit. Shoot, that is not what I wanted to do. Uh, oh well, we'll fix it later. Oh well, that's no big deal. Um, <laughs> gives it some character. Um, yeah. All right, so I'm gonna set. I'm gonna. I'm gonna take the yellow tractor up, get that all done, and then uh, in the next episode. We will, uh, I'll already have the trailer loaded. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna go hook up to it now and then I'll empty it out. I'll load it up before we even get in because I need to find a stone picker because there's no way I'm leaving this huge field with no stone pick, or you know, with stone in it again. That's the kind of uh, ridiculous. I guess I see now why some of these people that do survival don't use the stone picker. It's just, you know, another big job that has to be done, you know, and, uh, but I am not going to shy away from it. We're leaving it turned on, and we're going to use it, and we're going to run over this tree. Um, <laughs> but I'll get this down to the, the shed. Well, you know, not really shed, but, you know, where our shed's going to be. And then, uh, I think we're going to call it there. And next, like I said, next episode, I'll have this trailer already loaded up. I'll have one of the tractors hooked to the trailer, the other one up at the shop. And I'd, li I'd actually like to take this one up to the shop, but uh, I think this one's much better off being hooked to the trailer right now. I'm just going to get this off here for now. And Alright, so I will see you guys in the next episode.